guys, nine times out of ten, this is the look that I wear almost every single day. It's usually just a very neutral, smoky eye. Today I'm wearing a nude liner. I usually wear black, um, but I thought I'd change it up a little bit. If you like this look and you'd like to see how I created it, just keep watching. So I've already done my brows and put a little bit of BB cream on. Next I'm going to use the Physicians Formula Youthful Wear Powder. It's just a translucent powder, but I just think it kind of helps set everything. That smells really good. Next I'm going to be using the Beauty Treats Bronzer Palette. I absolutely love this palette. It was just mentioned in one of my recent favorites. I'm going to take my Expert Face Brush by Real Techniques. This is my Holy Grail favorite, favorite contour brush. And I'm just going to take the darker, shadier colors. I heard recently on a video that um, contour is supposed to be like a shadow. So it makes sense that you would use a gray tone. And then I just kind of buff it out with that same powder brush I used. Tan shade here. It's kind of like a warm tan shade. And then I take this one here. It's more of a pinky peach color. And I just tap my brush in it and tap my brush in the other one. You want to get rid of any excess just because that really does make for more of a packed punch color. And if we're just going for a flush of color, we just want it to be a little bit of product on the brush. And then I take that right above my contour just to warm up my face a little bit, right up through my temple, and right on the other side as well. This will help with slimming, and if you do have a narrow face, you can just skip this step. After that, I'm going to take just this tapered brush here, and I'm going to take the shade Lyric and the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. You can use whatever shade you want. I like one with more of a yellow base because it's really brightening, but you can use any. I would say that you should use a matte color, though, um, just so, you know, your sparkles and shimmers and things don't settle right into your fine lines. And I just press that right into the skin. Now I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is the anti-aging one. This is the one I swear by. It is my absolute favorite. There's no turning back. I used the regular one and I hated it. Um, I just thought it was really similar to drugstore ones and things like that. I wasn't in love. Um, so this one though, I just absolutely love it. I got a sample of it and I was like, eh, well I'll try it. And I absolutely love it. Um, I will say though, I don't see a difference in my skin like of the anti-aging spectrum, but I do see a difference in the way that the product stays on me. And that might be just it, um, you know, because as you get older, you do have more fine lines and stuff. So this may make it so that it doesn't settle into those fine lines. So yeah, I love this stuff. So for this look, I'm going to use the Lorac Unzipped Palette. This is my absolute favorite, favorite palette of all time. It's just a bunch of rose gold shades. I have mentioned it in favorites and things like that. It's very, very close to the Naked 3 with all the rose gold hues and things like that. First, I'm going to go in with Unconditional. It's this shade here. It's just a great transition shade, and it'll just kind of make everything else blend together. The rule of thumb that I use is that you're always going to want to leave a little room for a highlight shade under your brow and a little room for a color on your lid as well. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of the shade Unspoken and just go right over that. And to smoke that out, a little trick I do is I keep a deck of playing cards, either old decks um, that have lost a card or anything like that, or you could just buy a deck of cards. Um, I was using tape for this, but it is a little bit more harsh on your skin. Um, just remember that everything you do is going to have a consequence when you're older. If you pull on your eye when you put eyeliner on or winged liner on, um, that's just going to diminish the elasticity in your eye. So, um, I opt for a card. I just place it right under my lash line and right to the end of my eyebrow. And then I'll show you how I just kind of smoke this look out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the unbrittled shade. It's this warm, dark shade here. And let's see if I can do this without a mirror, just using the viewfinder. So I hold this card here and then I just swipe this way. Swipe towards your eye because if you swipe back, you could go right under the card and that would defeat the whole purpose. 
And then see, it just gives you that super crisp wing look. For me, I think that's a little dark for the daytime, so I am just going to go back in with Unspoken and just kind of buff it out a little bit. Now I'm going to take Undercover. It's this light shade here. And I'm just going to pop this color right under my brows. My brows are due for relaxing. Um, so this just kind of helps to clean the look up. People yelling outside, what's new? What is new? Next I'm going to take the shade Unreal. As you can tell, this is my favorite, favorite shade in the whole palette. It's just like a muted, beautiful rose gold shade. And I'm going to put this on the middle of my eyelid. Now I don't want to take it all the way out to the end or all the way into the corner. I just like it to be right in the middle just to kind of brighten the eyes. I'm just going to take the end. You can take any small brush that you have. Um, and I am going to take Unbrittled again. It's this shade here. And you have to be careful or you can look like you have a black eye because literally 9 times out of 10 I end up looking like I have a black eye when I do this. So you're just going to take this and you're going to run it as close to your lash line as you can. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of the Untamed shade and just run it right along the very outside. Then I'm going to take my favorite nude pencil. This is Rimmel Scandalize. It's super, super affordable, and I'm just going to take that and run it right on my waterline. I do pull down very slightly and gently and just run it along my waterline. And as you can see, all it does is it just kind of brightens up your eye. I'm going to take the Physician's Formula Liquid Liner to do my wing, and then I'm going to take the Maybelline Line Stiletto to do my lid. Wing numero oh no. And then I'm just going to finish off, I'm going to use the Lash Accelerator by Room London. Can someone tell me if there are fibers in this? Or if I'm just crazy? Or if I used it with fibers sometime and like forgot because it looks to me like there are fibers in it. And it works like there are fibers in it. For my lips, I'm going to use my favorite, favorite, favorite lip product. This is the NYX Butter Gloss. I'm going to use the shade BLG14, which is Madeline. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending time with me today. If you'd like to hang out with me on other social media, I love my Instagram. I spend a lot of time on there. I also have Facebook and I have Twitter. So everything will be linked down below. Please subscribe and hit that like, thumbs up button. Like, thumbs up button. Hit that thumbs up button and I will see you guys later. Just remember, by the way, that you are loved and more important than you know. Bye guys.